Beth Vaughn has been out here all day. You've got some of those stories as folks come in tonight, Beth. That's right, Mark. Imagine this. Derek Cheater gives you the shoes off of his feet at a game in 1999. The next logical step, well, to get a game ticket to the All-Star Game, bring that shoe and just pray for an autograph. There's a fan in there with that story. Oh, my goodness. Mark, I've met that man, and, uh, you know, I've met plenty of others today with uh, folks with just really unique connections to the game of baseball. And, and truly, the All-Star Game is catered to fans. It's meant to be fan focused. Thousands piled into Kauffman Stadium starting at 3.30 this afternoon. Many fans paid between $400 and $1,000 for their seats and up to $99 for parking. But those prices are proof that baseball fans appreciate the opportunity to celebrate the summer with all 30 baseball clubs. Now we just caught up with the father-son duo from D.C. who came in for the All-Star Week and let me tell you, they did not leave a single stone unturned. We got in town on Sunday, had a great uh, time here at the park, went to Jack Stacks for dinner, hung out the plaza, saw the parade today, went to Negro League Museum, Fan Fest. It's just been all baseball all the time and all good. What are you really ready for tonight? Uh, I really, I don't know, I don't know, everything. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Just excited for oh, yeah. absolutely everything. The kids, it's been really fun to watch the kids coming through with their dads. The dads are all proud to be bringing their kids to their first all-star game, most That's likely. Right. And the kids have no idea what they're in for. It's going to be a great they're time. They're just all beaming. It's awesome. They are. All right, Beth. Thanks, great story. Mark. Thanks very much, Beth.